Hello and welcome to Guinevere's Studio. In this video, I will show you how to wire a painting for hanging. Let's start off with things you're going to need. You're going to need some wire cutters and you're going to need picture frame wire. When you're choosing the type of wire, I always get a twisted stainless steel wire that is specifically designed for hanging pictures. And you can see that it comes in different weight ratings. Make sure you get the correct weight rating for your painting. I picked these up at the local hardware store. Next, I like to use a drill to start my guide holes for the eye screws. You should also have a selection of different size drill bits. I like to use eye screws for my wires because they're inexpensive and easy to find. I would just make sure that you get one that is strong enough to hold your painting. You may also want a wrench to help you get a grip on the eye screw. A little note about using a drill. So if you are going to pre-drill the holes, you need to make sure to use a drill bit that is smaller than the size of the teeth on your eye screw. As you can see, the drill bit is not wider than the teeth of the screw. So now let's make some holes. I generally don't measure where I'm gonna put the holes because the genius of using a wire is that they don't have to be exactly the same. The wire is gonna average the difference and that's how the painting stays level. You wanna make sure to put the screws within the top third or quarter of the painting. I just estimate and go a few inches from the top. Now let's put the eye screw in. So you wanna make sure to screw it all the way so that all the threads are within the wood. Since we pre-drilled the hole, you can usually screw it in by hand, but sometimes you need a little extra leverage. Now let's do the other side. So again, I don't have to measure, I just wanna estimate about the same depth that I used on the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect. You wanna make sure not to drill too deep so that the screw will still dig in deeper and that's why you might need the wrench. Now let's get our wire. So I always put it through one eye hook first, bend it over and crimp it so that it sort of stays in place and that makes it easier to measure how much wire you need. The goal with your wire tension is so that it's loose enough that you can hook it onto a nail, but not so loose that the painting hangs away from the wall. This really does take a little bit of trial and error. If you crimp both sides of the wire, it will sort of hang onto the eye hook so you can get an idea of where your tension is going to be. Okay, now let's twist our wire. This is a really important step because if you don't twist it correctly, it can loosen over time. So the trick here is to make sure that when you're twisting the wire, you twist it perpendicular to the other wire. As you wrap the wire around, you want it to line up tightly next to each other. This will hold the wire tight and will prevent it from slipping. You want to make sure to twist the wire all the way to the end. Even though this is the back of the painting, it is still important to make sure that it looks good. Here's another example on a smaller painting. One thing that is important to remember when working on your wire tension is to try to make sure that the wire hangs in just about the same place on all the paintings. Especially if you're doing a show, it will just make hanging the show a lot easier. Again, I don't measure it to make it perfect. I just estimate to go down two or three inches from the top of the painting to make sure that you have enough room for whatever type of hanging system it might be. There you go, now you should be able to wire your paintings like a pro. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, and if you want to see what's on the front of these paintings, check out some of my other videos.